Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I just quickly wanted to sit here and do this intro for you because um, I filmed the entire video and when I was sitting to edit I realized well I did not film an intro. So here you go. Today's video is going to be my episode 2 of shopping my skincare stash. I um, you already saw the first video if you haven't watched it already i would highly suggest you go and check it out because i have gotten a great response like the analytics tell me that you guys have been loving the video and i was really nervous to see whether the series is gonna do well or not because whenever i start something new it's always a 50 50 i don't know whether you guys will love it or not whether the views will be good or not and whether it is a series worth keeping up or not so this series so far has been doing really well with episode one basically i show with i show you and i share with you my entire skincare routine share with you the products i've been using what i'm swapping in adding out uh, wait i said it ulta the products i've been swapping in so like taking out certain products adding in new stuff and usually what i tend to do is i try to cycle my products in so like whatever i put in i try to use it up completely and then i will take it out and add something new in so um that's what this video is going to be about i i hope that i've given you a good um description in the intro and you can of course um keep watching this video to see what were the products that i was using in this current rotation and um, yes that's gonna be it i'm not gonna make the intro super duper long so um let's jump right into it and let uh, me show you um the products that i've been using in my skincare routine so let's jump into that Okay, so the first update I want to give you is regarding some empties, like this tube of moisturizer right here from Dot & Key. So I've been using this moisturizer with, oh shit, I dropped the other product. And um, yeah, so I've been using these two together and they have worked so well. I am almost out of the sunscreen as well. I don't know how much you can tell because of the air inside. But like, I'm at the point where I have to squeeze and remove product out of this. And also um, this one. Uh, I used up last night actually because this is something I use both in morning and night. Earlier I was using it only at night. Now I'm using it in the morning as well. So twice a day. Which is why I got this new tube of product out. Um, which I also used yesterday night and today by the way. So yes that's my current rotation that's going on. But apart from that I have to also show you the product that I just dropped. So this is the... Um, it's the formula rx bottle but this had a little bit um of the one percent uh not one percent one thing uh ten percent niacinamide i had decanted it in here and i had just a little bit of product left but you're not going to be able to tell right now because it's empty that it is so there is nothing left i was using it for the past week and a half i want to say almost um and today i had to actually overuse it a little bit because i was like i'm waiting for this to be done i don't know when it's gonna be done so yes now it's finally done and um i had about a week 10 days of usage um left in here so this is an empty and so is the minimalist alpha arbutin which is of course not here because once i finished the minimalist alpha arbutin i started using this i i want i was planning to rotate, rotate another serum in but i thought you know what i have this empty uh not empty but like this product that's almost going to be out so let me use this up and reduce one more product for my collection so yes that's why i'm using that but i will be um bringing a new serum in which is most probably going to be the five percent niacinamide serum from plum and uh what i want to try and do is use the aqualogica moisturizer which has been lying around here i've not been using it because i've been using the dot and k and deconstruct combo uh, which I have been loving so much, but I'm gonna try and use this Aqualogica moisturizer with the Dermaco Hyalocalamine sunscreen and try to get some usage in here. This also doesn't have too much product, so I would love to just use it up. And um, if it doesn't work, because of course my skin is gonna be more dry these days, so if that combo doesn't work and if it's a little too dry on my skin, then I will just get back to this combo and uh, of course i have a new one of this one i have two more tubes of this one right now in my stash so i'm sorted i could do either or combo uh, i'm not sure which one that's gonna be but we'll see so i just want to give you that little update 
um also i wanted to update you on uh, makeup removers and uh, face washes because that's a category that i did not cover in my first episode of this uh, shopping my skincare stash video so um i want to take you through um face washes but then we have to go to my washroom which is not the most aesthetic um you know to show so i'm going to get the face washes out and i'm going to show you what's on my um uh, like sink basically actually you know what even though it's not aesthetic but i'm going to show you the real deal so i have two of these face washes over here both from all three of them but i'm not like actually using the specific product i used it up and it was empty so i just put the other face wash in here so this blue one is the deconstruct hydrating face wash and this one is one of the two minimalist face washes i don't remember which one but i'm going to give you a better look over here to see how much is in each of them so the deconstruct one of course will be like over quicker uh, because it's got lesser product left and that is what i use um post removing my makeup basically for my second cleanse i use that and then this one i use in the morning uh so yeah like an aha bha cleanser in the morning and then um simple hydrating cleanser in the evenings um so those are what i'm currently using and then i will uh put the foxtail uh, acne control cleanser i think it's called their clear picture um acne control cleanser in the morning once this one is done with um i actually used that today morning to see if it's going to be nice or not and it was pretty good so far so i will just continue using that once this one is out and then once this one is over at a similar pace i think i will finish this also this is the beauty of jozan cleansing oil which i am currently using for my um like first cleanse so once that is done uh and i also want to finish this up so um once that is done which will of course be done in a few days i will put the isn't tree a uh, cleansing jelly product um and then once that is in the rotation and this one will also be done i think while the isn't tree is in the rotation so once this is done i will also remove the isn't tree and put the fox tail daily do it because that's a two in one so um when i put that in i won't need to have two separate products so i hope that makes sense i know i'm like talking thoda aisa future ka planning maine already kar diya hai so um that's why and if you're wondering why i have two shampoos it's because ye almost khatam ho gaya hai so i was just thinking ki isme jo thoda sa hai wo main ye chote wale bottle mein transfer kar deti hu that way i can save space because this one is way too big and takes too much space up so yeah that's a glance into my washroom i'm back you guys so it's not been that long actually since you last saw me where i was telling you ki i'm going to add this moisturizer from aqualogica into the rotation i did it barely lasted for i want to say 5 or 6 days and it's now completely out matlab if i open this and i try to pump out product i don't want to do it on camera agar nikal gaya to ha see thankfully nahi nikal raha hai i mean yeah um so if i keep pumping it like this nothing comes out um you can open it and like scoop out product and stuff uh which which we will be doing like not as a part of this uh but since this is now um basically empty close to being empty i'm going to rotate this out very soon kafi jaldi khatam ho gaya hai which i'm very happy about and um i'm going to be adding this moisturizer in This is the Brill Care Skin Brightening Moisturizer. It is pretty lightweight and like gel-like, but thoda moisturizing hai ye comparatively. And I feel like out of all the products in my collection right now, in terms of moisturizer, this would be a good addition. And if you're wondering ki where is the Dhamako sunscreen, मैंने उसको निकाल के अंदर रख दिया because I don't think उसकी बारी आने वाली है अभी. Since this moisturizer doesn't work well with that, I have tried it in the past. Um, kind of. um matlab this was the only moisturizer and that was the only sunscreen i had and i tried using them together they did not work well together so for me already try kar chuki hu so this one works well with the deconstruct sunscreen which you can see i still have this thoda sa left 
uh, which I'm going to finish maybe in a day or two. And then I already removed a new tube also, a fresh brand new tube. Seal bhi nahi tuta hai iska ab tak. So once this tube gets over, I will rotate this in. And um, I also thought about it like this ki, thik hai this is a nice lightweight moisturizer and pata nahi kiyo but Mumbai mein aaj kal thandi nahi hai. Uh, at least for a couple of days. Uh, this is something that I and my mom also constantly talk about. Ki this year was like the worst winter in the sense ki thandi to thi nahi. We felt like for majority of it. So um, yes, I think this would work well in terms of the texture and everything. And if the weather decides to get cooler and drier, then I still have my dot and key moisturizer on hand. I use this at night, which is why this is always... Um, on my um, white table whenever you see it you will always see this one in and around over here because regardless of whether I'm using it in the morning or not I'm definitely using it at night with my retinol over here so um, so yeah if I feel like on certain days my skin is more dry I will skip this moisturizer on that day specifically and use the dot and key which works well with the deconstruct sunscreen as well so we're pretty sorted in terms of that and the serum i'm currently using is this one the plum niacinamide one mm, i've recently started using it so you can see there's not much gone but uh, once this will be gone then we will see consa serum next to rotate karna most probably it will be the plum 10 percent niacinamide because i want to like i have one bottle left which i want to use it up before um, february gets over so once this um gets over i'll use that um and and yeah i'm sure that all these products will work well together as well but i'll keep you posted we're getting ahead of ourselves this may kaafi sara bacha hua hai so um yes just wanted to give you that little update and yes i will be showing you how these products apply on my skin in the next clip so um yes let's let's move on to the skincare application clip now so let's get some skincare on our face in case in case my hair is looking weird that's because i just washed it and it is wrapped up in a towel but we're gonna quickly put some serum on uh, i'm starting with the plum five percent niacinamide serum and uh, this is just one of those like trusty reliable go-to kind of products that being said um i just want to tell you one thing about this a lot of people still feel like they should be using toner uh, once they wash their face that's why light sorry for that um if i go to fix that my face will like just dry like a prune so we're gonna deal with it for now but uh, yeah coming back to the serum i was telling you that some people still feel like they should be using toner after washing their face and then they will put on a serum so if your face has any kind of like water basically or moisture um this does kind of like i don't want to say froth or foam or i i don't exactly know but it looks white white it happens with niacinamide as an ingredient in general but I feel like certain serums either the percentage of niacinamide is lower or maybe it's formulated in a certain way where it doesn't happen but uh, with this one I have noticed he agar see see over here can you see this this is what I'm talking about if there is any part of my face or my neck and generally it happens more on my neck only because when I'm gai gai mein, when I'm towel drying myself and I want to start doing my skincare I might forget to like wipe down my neck achhe se, and there might still be water so that's what I've noticed ki on those specific areas this can do this white white thing and it's not it's not a negative it's not like your skincare products are not working or anything it's just that that can tend to happen so if it happens you can just like tap tap a little bit and then let it be once the water evaporates, automatically your niacinamide will like sink into the skin. It's not a problem. It's just an observation. And if your entire face is wet, like if you're spraying a toner on your face and then you're putting this niacinamide on top, your entire face is going to look that white, white thing. That's basically going to be all over your face. So for that reason, 
I just want to let you know कि this can tend to happen um, and you just need to be aware to not do that or just don't use a niacinamide in the morning in that case you know if you really want to use a toner on your face then don't use a niacinamide serum because it's not just this niacinamide serum it is most niacinamide serums that do that I cannot think of one that doesn't at the top of my hand right now but it's just an observation that I wanted to let you know because I've been using it for a couple of days like you can see and I think मेरे साथ एक या दो बार हुआ है अब तक ये not all over my face just mostly around my neck because that is the part जो मैं भूल जाती हूँ sometimes to towel dry very well so that's that anyways let's move on to moisturizer quickly because again the serum is getting absorbed and my face is like drying up so this is the really care um, skin brightening moisturizer I take about this much please keep in mind this is a gel moisturizer ish consistency and it's pretty lightweight and because we're in winter I am overusing a little bit I feel like I need to specify that because people love to shave me considering like how much I overuse products sometimes so I'm just letting you know use how much ever you want to this is how much I am using and this product is a really nice gel moisturizer my only problem with this is the smell so uh, again if you don't know this about me I tend to avoid having fragrance in my products if that's possible whether it be allergen free or whatever like certain brands they like to say okay we have allergen free fragrance in our products fragrance is fragrance and for people who not necessarily have an allergy or anything they just like to avoid products because they avoid the smell uh, of the product like the fragrant component is the problem it's not necessary that everyone has an allergy to fragrance right so considering those things I do not enjoy the fact that this has a fragrance to it I will use I'll be using it up and I probably won't repurchase or recommend it I also remember this is something that I bought from sublime life when they were basically still selling stuff but they didn't have uh, a lot of products on their website and I had points to me to redeem karna tha isle mene ye khareeda tha I don't know if this brand is available on other websites I think it's available on Nykaa I feel like Nykaa has every brand basically so uh, you might be able to find this on Nykaa it's it's a nice moisturizer um, the only thing is the fragrance that I don't like about it and it also says it's got 92% natural ingredients I don't know if that is like something that they are trying to claim ki you know we are better than other brands because we have 92% natural ingredients but I can definitely tell that this means your natural extracts hai na because of that there's a little bit of tingling that happens in my skin just the mildest tingling it's not um, something that is concerning if you have sensitive skin then maybe yeah but apart from that like it's just for a couple of seconds it goes away once like my entire skin care routine is complete and I go about my day I don't feel it anymore I'm just letting you know ki that is something you need to potentially consider along with the fragrance in your so uh, yeah apart from that it says no sulfate no paraben no formaldehyde no mineral oil no silicone oil no petroleum wax no artificial color and it's not testing on animals which is something I really like so uh, yeah that is that now moving on next let's use our sunscreen which is the deconstruct gel sunscreen now in the earlier clip i already told you that the dermaco halicalamine doesn't work well with this but this one does when i say with this i mean with this moisturizer that sunscreen doesn't work that well together but this one does so that's why we're going to be using this one and i am glad to be back to using this beach may for a couple of days i think almost a week i was using the halicalamine but now i'm back to using my deconstruct sunscreen and it's not thoda se bacha hai so i'm just trying to get a decent amount out another thing surprisingly i get shamed for a lot is overusing sunscreen i did not know ki overusing sunscreen was a thing i mean i think the one category where more is more is the sunscreen of course make sure that your products are not pill it tends to happen that if you overuse sometimes like if you literally over over use like if you use double the quantity that you should be using it can cause pilling 
also you have to see how the textures are blending together and stuff but i think the amount of sunscreen i use is what people should be using and just like people like to shame me for overusing sunscreen i shame them for underusing sunscreen because i'm like if you think i'm underusing sunscreen that means uh, sorry if you think i'm overusing sunscreen that means you are underusing sunscreen and that is it's not a problem problem as such but i think that uh, i mean i almost wanted to say ki it is better to not use sunscreen than under using it but that's actually not true i think some sun protection is better than none but uh, also i think if you are under using sunscreen and you're still slightly damaging your skin like i mean sunscreen does wear out after a few hours even considering how much i apply so if you are using even less than me that means you are going to have to either reapply very very often or um your skin exposed to the sun rays after a couple of hours is uh, going to cause some amount of damage which means that you will be using sunscreen for years and years and years thinking ki yes i'm using sunscreen i'm doing all the right things so i am going to notice the anti aging benefits which you probably might till some degree but you can do better and after a couple of years if you still notice those signs of aging which you anyways will sunscreen is not going to erase your wrinkles in future it's just going to um prevent them and postpone the appearance of them but i mean i think i'm explaining this very weirdly what i'm trying to say is you can do better um uh, than what you are doing and yes doing something is better than doing nothing but we all should do the best we can like the best and then uske beyond if you can't do it you can't do it so i i was basically struggling to get anything out of this and even after like putting like puri jaan laga di maine isme se kuch aur nikalne mein but nahi nikal raha hai so i think i'm going to have to go and open my new tube and then i'll do my neck but uh, yeah i majorly wanted to show you how these three products work well together and share with you a little bit of more insights on each of them so i hope that you enjoyed it and i will be continuing to use these two of course along with the deconstruct sunscreen as well uh, in my skincare routine for a while and once i use up either of those two of course we'll be having a product switch up once again so uh, yes i will probably share that as a continuation in this video only or maybe if i feel like this video is long enough then i will do like an episode 3 to cover the next routine uh, i should probably do that so yes that is going to be it for this video i hope that you enjoyed and let me know down below if you're enjoying the series kind of where i take you like to give you a closer look basically into my skincare routine my skincare stash my skincare products that i'm rotating amongst and all that good stuff in case you're enjoying it then please let me know down below in the comment section and that's going to be it thank you so much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye